Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to use GeoGebra to graph um, some polar equations. Um, and I'm at beta.geogebra.org. I pretty much always use the beta version. Um, I don't think it actually makes a difference for this particular thing. So I'm going to go to graphing calculator and click start. And it's going to load. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's actually, I actually kind of need this keyboard down here right now. Um, so what I want is I need the Greek letters and one way that you can enter a polar equation is you can actually, um, if you type R equals, so now I'm going to type something uh, that's sort of trig so that it'll be a polar equation or a typical polar equation. So I'm just going to write R equals sine of theta and you can see it does graph it. So this is what I was expecting, a circle with its center on the positive y axis. Um, and a diameter of one. But if you look over here at what GeoGebra did, it um, really changed it up, right? I typed R equals sine of theta and it did this. Um, and this is a little bit annoying. Um, so there's a, a way that I prefer to graph these and it actually involves uh, parametric equations. So what I'm gonna do instead of this in general, uh, I'm gonna type, uh, I'm just gonna type f of x is sine of x for now. And GeoGebra plots it, but I don't really want to see this, so I'm going to turn it off. And then we know that um, when converting to polar, we know that x is r times cosine theta and y is r times sine of theta. And so what I can do is I can actually use parametric equations, which is going to require an expression, an expression, parameter, start, and um, I can use parametric equations for this. So uh, right now what I want is I want r in r cosine and r sine to be uh, whatever f of x is. So I'm going to type f of, I like to use t when I do um, parametric equations. So it's going to be the x value is r cosine of t comma. The y value is r, which is again f of t, and then sine of t, and then t, and then 0 to 2 pi, let's say. And you can see that it is exactly the same graph. So let me turn this off. Uh, what's nice about this, actually, let me delete that. Get out of there. What's nice about this, or what I like about it, is if I want to change things, I can go up here. And now just change this really easily to, uh, well, type sign again, uh, sine of 3x. And there I get a rose curve. So now I can start kind of playing around with it. Like maybe I want to see um, how it's traced out. So two options for that. One of them is I'm going to type V and just create a slider. And I'm going to have the slider go from 0 to 2 pi, let's say. OK. And I can move that. And that's good. I'm going to go up here and double click this. And instead of going from 0 to 2 pi, I'm going to let it just go from 0 to V. Press Enter. The curve disappears, but that's because v is currently 0, so it's trying to graph the curve from uh, just 0 to 0. You can see, 0 to 0. Um, so if I now kind of drag this, I can watch it sketch out the curve for me, which is pretty nice. Um, also there I can see that it doesn't actually take 2 pi, it only takes pi to complete this. Um, and then you can kind of think about that and work that out. Um, another thing that you can do that I really like about this is if we double click in here, we can move things around. So I could say plus three um, and plus one. So what's going to happen now is when I graph this, just let this go. It's a polar curve, but it's not at the origin anymore, which is one of the advantages of using the uh, parametrics for this and it's actually centered at 3, 1. So maybe I want to make that more general. I could uh, say h, let's let h be a slider. So I'll put slider h, and then a slider for k. And then if we go back up into the parametrics, double click, I'm going to change this to plus h, and I'm going to change this 1 to k. And then I have this ordered pair. I'm actually just going to delete that. You. Um, so now what I can do is I can move things left and right, move them up and down. I can watch it be traced. 
Um, with the parametrics, I can also just put a point on it. I can do B of V. And then if I let this go, I can watch it, trace it out, and I can really clearly see the point. Okay. Um, so that's how I like to graph parametric, uh, rather polar coordinates using GeoGebra. Um, and what I basically do is I use parametric equations. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.